Bam! Woo! Something sounds good over there. Listen guys, a couple years ago we made a roof wrap video and I think, in my opinion, and you guys will see it, it's the best roof wrap tutorial video you've ever seen in your life on YouTube. I guarantee it. We went into detail, we taught you guys everything we know, and what I did is I went back and I watched the video. And those techniques that we were doing then are still valid today. You can still use them. So, with that said, let's let this guy pass. Woo! Yeah, buddy! With that said, best roof wrap tutorial video you're about to watch right now. So if you've ever wanted to wrap your roof, this is the video to watch. It's gonna give you all the details, all the information, and all the tools necessary to make it happen. And the reason why I'm bringing this video back is because I want you guys to have an opportunity to save money doing this. So right now we're having a 33% off sale, Cyber Monday. Go to our website, use discount code CY33, after you watch the video. Watch the video, decide that you're ready to wrap your roof, decide that all of the information that you need is there. If it's not, comment below. I'll make sure I'm here to answer any questions I can. And um, like I said, it's a time to save some money. If you're looking for a DIY project to do at home, you and a buddy in your garage, this is the time to do it. Save some money, let's make it. <laughs> you and your buddy in a garage. Bitch, I'm that is gonna show you guys how to wrap a roof. This can be done on any vehicle. These techniques can be done to any car. Most of them are gonna be the same. We're gonna show you how to take the antenna off. We're gonna wrap the whole thing, put the antenna back on. Uh, we do have a DIY on our other channel, Premium Garage. If you wanna learn how to wrap the antenna, we have that on our other channel. Go subscribe, I'll link it up above. But uh, let's get into the project. We're gonna show you everything through and through. And uh, if this is something you want to do at home, now is the time to buy. We're going to give you a kit that has everything you need. You know, you're going to have a heat gun, you're going to have the blades, you're going to have everything you need in this kit. It's under $100 with the discount, so it's the best time to get it. This is something you can do at home with one of your buddies on the weekend, and uh, it's a really cool project. Let's get into it. Okay, so the tools that come in the kit that you're going to need are a heat gun, felt edge squeegee, a blade, tack cloth, microfiber, and a squirt bottle, spray bottle. Uh, the tools that you're gonna need that are not available in the kit is a clay bar. And depending on if you have a roof antenna or not, you're gonna need some tools to take off a couple things. But very, very simple, basic tools. The things that we're gonna remove are the trims here and the uh, antenna. We'll prep the roof and then we'll get started. So basically the first step you need to do to get this antenna off is you need to get this liner pretty much pulled back. So with these 15, 16 WX, you just have these tabs here. They basically act like little mushrooms. That's what I think about them, is they have this little top piece and then they have a back piece that kind of like holds the liner up, you know? But you want to get under the top piece, make sure you're not pulling up on the piece that's connected to the liner. And you want to just get behind it and then just pretty much pry it out. And you have it here. Take all of them off and then you can pull the liner down. And removing these trims it's a little different on every vehicle so I definitely advise you to Google and make, look up on your make and model for the most part they're all the same so with this particular car there's a clip here and then all the rest are little slider tabs so with that said first thing you want to do is grab a plastic side tool and you just want to get in there and pop the first clip and then you'll notice that the whole thing starts to get loose all right so first tabs popped up and then one of the things that we do here that I find handy, where, where is it at? Is we get these, just any old credit card, gift card, whatever you have, and we use that to slide them back. There are tools that you can get in there with, but what I found is it's very easy to damage the roof cap or here with these cards and you just stay off of it nice and easy. Basically what I'm gonna do is put it in, slide back, and you'll see these sliders start to move. Let's slide forward. Okay. So what you wanna see is there's a tab there, little metal hook. And then this thing slides right here on the rail. And you'll see that what I did is I put the card on this and I pushed it forward. And that's what relieved that. So there's about five or six of them all the way through. Now it's just real simple slide them all forward. One thing that I like to do when we uh, take these off is I like to clean this out, spray it with water and just allow these to slide a little bit better because over time with dirt build up, they become really hard to work with. So before we put it back on, we'll clean it up real well. So next time we remove it, when it comes time to remove the roof wrap, it's easy to get off. Um, I will mention that while we're on it, this is something that you do to your car and you don't leave it on long term. You want to have this on for about a year to two years and then you're going to remove it. 
And uh, at that, as long as you do it within that guideline, with that time frame, you won't have any issues. Um, the idea with removing it is to make sure that the material doesn't cook to the roof cap. This gets baked with heat. If you leave that on for extended periods of time, you will see the material begin to deteriorate. Um, it's a good idea to remove it within a year to two years and simply replace it or leave it off. And at that point, your roof is preserved for the time that it was wrapped. So the whole idea here is to protect the roof. If you know, if you guys, as you guys know, a lot of the Japanese vehicles, not saying that all you guys are gonna have Japanese vehicles, but a lot of Japanese vehicles have real soft paint. And over time, what you'll notice is the sun will cook the roofs and they'll eventually have clear coat failures. So putting this roof wrap, roof wrap on will protect that, preserve the paint for extended periods of time. So it's a good idea to do it and it gives it a really cool look. When it comes to wrapping your roof or any part of your vehicle, you wanna make sure that it's thoroughly clean. Clean it once, clean it twice, clean it three times. Make sure that it's perfect. It's very important in order to have a success successful install. As mentioned earlier, what we're using to clean the roof is a clay bar. This can be bought at any auto detailing supply or any automotive parts store for the most part they carry these. Uh, very important tool to have, regardless if you're wrapping your roof or not, this is a good tool to have. A lot of you guys know about it already. Clay barring is a, a process of actually cleaning and removing contaminants from the surface. So what we're doing here is he's going over the whole roof. It's been lubricated, it's been sprayed down. Um, I definitely recommend taking a tutorial on how to clay bar any type of part. There's a lot of them online, but for the most part, it's making sure that the surface is staying lubricated that you're working with and basically working the uh, clay bar through and you'll actually feel the clay bar getting loaded up with the contaminants. At that point, you're gonna wanna flip the clay bar and uh, make sure that you're not scratching up the roof. So that's the, that's the very important part is to make sure that you're educated on how this works. Very simple, very straightforward, but definitely look at a tutorial specifically on clay barring, but it is a major part in wrapping a roof. So make sure that every inch of this roof is clay barred and you'll fill it to the touch. Once it's ready, the whole roof will be smooth. You can run your hand over and you'll feel that it's ready to go. Some of you guys may be wondering what's in the spray bottle. Uh, we have it filled up with water, it's about halfway full, and then we put one drop of dish soap in it. That's to help degrease the roof at the same time, and uh, it helps lubricate the, lubricate the uh, clay bar as it goes over and passes over the roof cap. Provided in the kit is tack cloth. Uh, tack cloth is something that we use here at the shop on a daily basis. Um, very cheap product, it is included in the kit though, so you don't have to worry about picking this up. But what it does is it's a, it's a sticky, almost, it's a tack cloth, it's very tacky. So what you do is just run it over the surface. And what this does is it pulls up the final debris, any dust, anything left on the roof cap right before you wrap it. So you may want to do this a couple times. Do it when you're done clay barring, when you're prepping, and then do it right before you lay your wrap. But you can definitely feel the difference and you'll know that it's ready to go super, super smooth. One of the biggest issues I see all the time with people wrapping their roofs, and also one of the biggest reasons why you see the success rate really low as actually completing these installs, is the wrong materials used. So make sure that you buy the right materials. I know there's a lot of options. Constantly I hear people say, oh, I can buy it on eBay or Amazon. Usually those aren't the right products. We are a wrap shop, this is what we do. We specialize in this, we specialize in these products. So we know what's, what's suitable for these applications and we're not gonna steer you wrong. We're gonna give you exactly what you need. So right here we have the Avery Denison Supreme Wrap Film. As far as roof wraps go, it's my favorite material to use. The glossiness is really nice, holds up really well. Uh, this product itself, like I mentioned earlier, one to two years should last on the uh, panels that face the sun. On the side, say you wrap your doors, that can last up to three years. Anything facing the sun is gonna have a little bit less of a lifespan, but nevertheless, Avery Denison Supreme Wrap Film, really, really good product. This will be included in the kit. Okay, so the first step, first thing we did is we actually got the size and material that we needed to do this roof cap. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the liner off the complete piece. Be careful when you do this. You wanna make sure that there's no dust or debris, debris around because at this point, you don't want anything sticking to the material. So what you'll notice with the material and using the right materials, the material will glide off the surface, meaning that it's not stuck. You know, we took a big piece of vinyl and um, it's risky, but at the same time, the technology in this material allows it to float off of the vehicle. So what you'll see here is it's able to be moved around. You can literally just move it and glide it into position. Cheap vinyls, improper vinyls, you won't see that technology there. That's why this stuff is very important. So what we're gonna do from here is we're gonna set up the material and basically the roof will look like it's wrapped before you've even touched it. So he's gonna pull tension in basically a triangle method, basically right here, move his way out. 
and we're gonna set up the material. And you can tap it to the car to help get it to stick a little bit because you're gonna need to pull on this side as well. So we haven't even touched the roof wrap with any squeegees or anything and it looks like it's done. Um, at this point, what we're gonna do is we're gonna begin to squeegee the material starting from the center, basically create a hinge so we can work our way back and forward. So one thing that we do here at the shop, a little different than some, some shops, some people may not like to do this. We do it because we've seen a lot of success in it. We will grab any type of quick detail or anything with the lubricant to it, spray the top of the roof cap. And at that point, what it does is it allows the squeegee to glide a lot better and not damage the material. What you'll notice sometimes, with, even with some of the high-end shops, they'll make mistakes when they're installing this material. Their squeegee will actually damage the gloss black film. So it's very important not to get this under the vinyl and get it on the actual adhesive side, but on the top side, it's perfectly acceptable. It's gonna help us glide and install this without scratching the material. I'll give you a quick example. Sprayed the roof down and now our squeegee. Another thing that I like to do with it is it lets you know where you've been and where you haven't. So you see here, I've created my line and I'll continue to know exactly where I'm at, what's been pushed down and what hasn't. As far as the uh, pressure that you're applying to the material, it's like a medium pressure. Um, you don't wanna go super light because then you'll let air stay behind. So maybe this was too light here. You wanna make sure that you're pushing down hard enough to where the air is traveling through the channels. You actually feel it traveling through the uh, air release on the material or in the material. So the whole roof has been laid all the way through. Um, you'll see that there's still the wax on the roof, so all we're gonna do is wipe that down. Good idea. You'll be able to see if you have any imperfections. At that point, we can address them. Now that the roof has been laid, you're gonna have to start trimming. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the open space right in between here and here, and we're actually gonna use that to cut. At this point, you're not cutting on anything. You're just using an open air space. So I'll show you right now, using the center point. This is where that, that roof rail used to be. So I'm cutting it about, I'm giving it about a half inch extra to go down into the channel. So like I said, I wanted to show you guys where we're cutting and what we're doing. Uh, this is the open channel here. Here's what we have. This is the extra material. This is gonna be used to be tucked down into that. Before we do that tuck, we're gonna round these corners here, which I'll show you as well. But for now, let's get this fully trimmed out. When it comes to trimming out the front and the rear, every car is gonna be a little different, so you wanna be aware of what's around. Uh, you don't wanna cut on any rubber trims. I'll give you an example. You don't wanna cut on this directly. You don't wanna put your blade right here on this and cut that. Um, you know, Say you did that, you'd actually destroy this, this uh, rubber piece here. You don't wanna do that. So what we do is, as long as the car is suitable for it, so every car is gonna be a little different. Some you may need a little bit more, which you may need to trim over here. But here's what we're gonna do on this one. We're gonna use this rail right here, but we're not gonna cut on the rail. We're gonna put the side of the blade inside the channel and use it as a guide. And we're cutting an open air space right now. So I'll give you an example once we get to it. Uh, now that I remove it, I can kind of show you where I cut that at. So here's where my blade traveled, ensuring that we didn't damage anything. So when I actually went into the material, what I did is I put the blade right up against this to use that as a guide and I just worked my way through no pressure down, no pressure on the side. It's just using the side of the blade as a guide, which allowed it to not damage any of this trim here. Um, now that we have that trimmed, what we're gonna do is we have this extra material to actually lift this guy here, and tuck all the material behind it. So you have a nice flawless finish. So using the heat gun, what you're gonna wanna do is you're not gonna you know, heat this material crazy. You just wanna give it a light kiss of heat. Basically what I'm doing is I'm gonna hit that corner first I'm gonna do all the corners all the way around before I do anything else. Using my thumb, now that it's heated, the material's pliable, I can push it in and start to create that round edge. From there, I'm gonna work this material down. And you see that the corner's starting to come to life. And at that point, I'm able to get behind this trim and tuck it in. tucking the side, just gonna work it straight down. And I do this at an angle. See my squeegee, it's at an angle and it's just allowing me to push that air just continuously down that way. Now 
it comes to tucking the material all the way across, there's multiple tools that you can buy, different types of pick tools that we hit stock here in the shop that'll allow us to move this trim back and tuck the material in. Uh, because this is something you guys are doing at home, I'm trying to find tools that you may have laying around to make this easy. So again, we're gonna bring out the card that we use to remove the trims. This is an old gift card. So anything like that, you can use to move this trim back and I'll show you basically what we do. Put it in the channel and pull it back towards the rear of the car. And that allows me to actually start tucking this in. So if you get above here, you can see that. With my squeegee, I'm going back in with the hard side and just pushing the material in. And you're able to work that all the way down you look here, I have the first two to three inches already tucked, just using that method. We're gonna continue that all the way down. Last step you're gonna do after you get everything laid and trimmed out and tucked, is you're gonna wanna post heat the whole entire roof cap and especially focus on the edges and the corners. So make sure that these are set. And the way to do that is just kinda of come in, lightly brush with the heat, and if there's anything that's popping up, you just address it right then and there. Using your finger, just push it down, making sure all your corners are nice and round. That's what's gonna give it that paint-like finish. And what I'm doing here is I'm just gonna heat this edge up, making sure that that's fully close to you. I've wrapped hundreds of roofs at this point, and what I will say is that I've seen this happen, and you don't wanna, you don't wanna do this, is overheat some of these roof caps. Some of these roof caps are very, very thin. Uh, for example, the Ford Mustang. If you're wrapping the, I think it's the 2014, 2015 and up roof cap, uh, it's very, very, right from the right from the gate, you know, before you even touch it, it's very flexible. So what happens is as you apply heat to it, and then you use your squeegee to push it down or your hand for any reason, you can actually damage your roof cap. So make sure you're very careful. In this case with the Subaru, it is, uh, well, it's a nice design and there's no issues like that. It's very sturdy, so uh, just keep that in mind. You know, if you're wrapping any type of roof, you want to be very careful when you're when you're heating this roof cap because you don't want to cause any distortion on the in the metal. Last step is to put everything back together and enjoy it. So we're gonna get these back in place. Same process. We're gonna clip the front clip in and then work our way back with all these clips. So it's a good idea to set them up beforehand. And then we'll just use our tool to put it back in place. So this customer has opted out from having this wrapped. If you do want to know how to wrap this, on our other channel, Premium Garage, we have a full tutorial teaching you how to wrap this. In this case, the customer doesn't want to do it, so we're just going to put it back in place. Bam! Now you see it. You and your buddy can do it in the garage. You and your buddy can do it in the garage. You and your buddy can wrap a roof in your garage after watching this video. I hope you guys see it. Um, we. When we sell any type of wrap film, any type of tools, we are selling you everything that we're using here in the shop. So it's the best wrap film. What you're gonna be getting with this wrap kit is the Avery Denison Supreme Wrap Film. Very easy to work with. And like, like I showed you throughout the video, it's very, very easy to reposition, replace. You guys got all of the information. You got all of the details. We didn't hide anything. We wanna make sure that you guys have the ability to do this in your garage, at home, with your buddies. Cyber Monday, Save 33, CY33, go shop now. <laughs>